guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Emily. If this is your first time here, welcome. In this video today, I wanted to go over my fitness journey. I know it has been a long time. I kind of started this channel talking about my fitness journey. I really wanted to go over fitness, beauty, health in this channel, everything that is important to me, and of course my family. So instead of focusing on just the fitness aspect of me, I made it more of a lifestyle channel, but I very much so wanna keep you guys updated with my fitness journey. Um, it's very important to me, I've been on it. This month makes an entire year since I've been on my fitness journey. Now, have I reached my goals? No, I have not. Have I done my best and work my butt off? Yes, I have. I have not reached my goals, and there are reasons that I'll get into later why I think I haven't reached my goals, but I have definitely been putting in the work because just a year ago, I was extremely out of shape, I was extremely sluggish, and I was very unhappy with my appearance and my body. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, I got into a training group with a great trainer in my area, and I, I just joined this excellent group of women and some men, but mainly women. We've encouraged each other. It's been such a great journey. Just looking at other bodies transform has just been awesome. He pushes us. He gives us great new workouts. And, you know, we went to Zoom when the pandemic just exploded, but we returned in March of this year. And I've been going in person from March up until November. So what happened? Why didn't I reach my goals? Basically, um, I think there are a few factors that came in the way. A, did I eat 100% the way I really wanted to if I wanted to see a major transformation? No. I definitely watched calories. I've definitely made better food choices, but I didn't make a drastic change with when you wanna see your body drastically change. You would make, I didn't make that change. Um, it would be up and down for me, especially during quarantine. It made it really, really hard. Another thing that I noticed hindered me in my journey was the lack of cardio. So my group is very strength building. We're heavy on the weights. We're heavy on a lot of great things that are needed to lose weight. My body personally responds to cardio the best. So if I really wanna lose weight and I wanna lose weight fast, I have to do cardio. I wasn't doing enough cardio. And in an hour of strength training and you know high intensity training, you do need to put in that extra work of cardio. Now, I didn't, I didn't really have the time to do so. It was work, gym, back home, family life. So here, as I noticed that I wasn't reaching my goals as the months went, I did start to incorporate more cardio and I did start to see more weight drop. Definitely when I incorporated the cardio, I saw the weight drop. When we returned to the gym, our trainer incorporated a way, way more cardio in his workouts, which were awesome. I mean, the workouts are just amazing overall, but I definitely appreciated the up in cardio. So if I didn't have time, I still felt like I got some cardio in. Speaking of cardio, when I realized that I wasn't losing weight fast enough, I started to run and jog during the spring and the summer. One day I'm jogging and I kind of hear my knee go, and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And I just keep going. Then I walk in the house and I hear more of a, and I'm like, the heck was that? Hello? And then I realized my knee was in, in pain that night. I made a poor decision the next day. I did a three mile jog run on top of knee pain and inflammation. And boy, do I tell you, I jacked my knee up. It was in pain for months. Now, I, it was already sore from doing the workouts and not stretching like I should. Now I've hurt my knee, I've overexerted my knee, and I continue to work out on my knee. After a while, I feel like I couldn't perform at my best, and then I had to slow down on cardio, which was really, really sad. And I knew that's what I needed to lose the weight. So that has really, really gotten away of, of me seeing the pound shed like I wanted to see them. So in my previous video, I talked about buying footwear 
for my knees and my joints and knee straps that really helped with runner's knee or really help with people who, who suffer from joint pain, which I do, which I do now. I really do suffer from joint pain. Um, so those things coupled together have definitely helped right now. It's cold. I cannot get out there. Um, once the numbers started rising again, I stopped going to the gym. So all of November and up until now, I have not been back to the gym. Now I do plan on getting back on zoom, just doing the workouts the safe way. It's been a crazy last couple of months, so I haven't gotten back on track yet. And with that, I do feel like I've put on a couple pounds. Something about the way my mind works, if I'm not working out, I make worse choices. You would think, okay, you're not working out, so let's eat better. No. Once I'm not working out, it all goes downhill after that. I, so I definitely need to get back into the gym or get back into Zoom training, which most definitely I'll get back into Zoom training. Right now, I am 20 pounds down. It took a year to get to 20 pounds. I think that's slow progress, but I must say, you see differences in your body as you age. You don't really just drop the pounds, at least I don't, and then you're just thin. I've seen firmness. I've seen strength. My core has come a long way. I can weight lift heavier than I could. I can deadlift heavier than I could. And I'm constantly being challenged in my classes because I've, I've made so much progress. So there's been other things and my body being tighter and my thighs being firmer and less dimpling that have come out of working out and only losing 20 pounds. So do I have a long way to go to reach my goals? Most definitely. I'm not giving up. I'm definitely going to continue. I feel better about myself already and I can't wait to feel great about my body. So guys, I'm here to tell you if you're in a fitness journey, do not give up. You're doing great. Even if you slack, pick it up, go back at it. That's what I'm doing. That's what you should do. You deserve the body that you want and I deserve the body that I want. I want to be snatched, point blank period. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to continue. I'm definitely going to keep you updated on my journey and I'll post more videos on Instagram once I get back into Zoom and working out in my basement. <laughs> I'll definitely um, post, mo post more videos with that. And like and subscribe. Follow me at The Real Emily Wills and I'll see you guys next time.